Two minutes after the hour as we get to the latest on that devastating explosion at an apartment complex in Gaithersburg. Nearly 24 hours after the explosion and fire, the investigation into exactly what happened continues this morning. The explosion happened around 840 yesterday morning at the Potomac Oaks condominium complex. People from 24 apartment units are now staying someplace else due to the fire and explosion. We have team coverage with Nicole D'Antonio focusing on those families now without a home. Matt Gregory has the latest on the search for one family still unaccounted for. We'll begin with Matt. Matt, what exactly do we know about this latest family? The fact that they're unaccounted for, where are they? Well, Larry, that's the question, right? Overnight, we checked with rescue crews, and so far they've not hit on anything in that particular apartment complex, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are missing. They could have just not been there. That's what uh, one of the theories is as far as what could be potentially there. And today, obviously, rescue crews will be back here at this scene, continuing to search that area, but so far, just to make sure, no canine crews have hit on anything regarding that family within that area. So they may have just not been here. Now, as far as what goes on today, investigators are back here right now, and they'll continue to work throughout the morning to start to determine exactly what caused that initial explosion. Just before 9 Wednesday morning, a massive explosion sent those who could running for cover at this Gaithersburg condo complex off Quince Orchard Boulevard. Neighbors say it felt like a bomb. And they sprung into action. In Spanish, Lillian told us there were still people inside when she got there. Lillian's video also captured two men running into the debris. This man was saving lives. The explosion and the following fire sent at least 10 people to the hospital, including four children, and at least two of those victims are in critical condition. It is too early to make conclusions. Too early to make information about what caused this. Fire officials say natural gas fed the fire, but they've not said if gas caused the explosion. The Montgomery County Fire Chief says building management told them it has had no complaints about gas in the past two weeks. But this is not the first time. But the fire department was called to this complex back in September for a gas leak in one of the units in the blast zone. The fire department did not call Washington Gas on that incident because it was a problem with the appliance. The chief says in that case, the leak was stopped and the tenant was told to fix the appliance. Now state, local and federal investigators are trying to determine what caused this devastation. Now, as far as a response here, you have state and local as well as federal. Baltimore's ATF has come here to begin part of the investigation that started yesterday and they'll continue. And we expect this to be a multi-day investigation and a multi-day response as they continue to figure out the extent of what has happened here. Now, as far as when we'll get an update, we expect to have one from authorities around 10 o'clock or 1030 rather this morning. That's what we've been told. And we'll obviously be here on the scene gathering any information we can in the meantime.